My mom's family is from the area, going back about four generations. My mom is 90 now, but still loves to tell stories about the primitive way she grew up. I love to listen. She and my grandparents and her brothers and sisters grew up in the woods of Wilkes County. They didn't have running water or electricity. They lived in a primitive house with spaces between the plank walls where snow would blow in during the winter. Life was incredibly hard. It was full of death, disease, horror, loss, but there was also a lot of good. One story my mom told is about the orb lights that would hang out at the tree line. My grandpa called them jack-o'-lanterns. They were orbs of light that floated around and you couldn't get near them or catch them. Keep in mind, no one had a car in the woods where they lived and they were a good ways away from the nearest road. Another story my mom told is about when she and some of her siblings were working in the field. They did a tremendous amount of field work because without that, they literally had no food. A few times they nearly starved. Anyway, they were in the field when they heard a noise like something falling through the air and headed their way. They looked around and suddenly something hit the ground near them with tremendous force. They could feel the shock wave from it in the air. They felt it hit the ground, only there was nothing there when they looked. There are a lot of stories about the sounds in the woods, which I think were bobcats. But who knows? A lot of stories. Like the one about the local witch that stopped nosebleeds. The ghost dog in the kitchen that was witnessed by my mom and her younger sister. And my uncle's cow that was drained of blood and left lying in the pasture. Something about this area. <laughs>